it had a it had a hesitation. Let's do that again. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a there's a real hesitation there. That's starving. Ah, it's doing that everywhere. I've never actually felt that happen before. So that. Uh, that's the pump coming in. So I'm going to try the fuller throttle here. Terrible. That's extremely lean. I can see it up around 222. Obviously, not getting enough fuel. today is adjust the accelerator pump volume on this uh, PHM 40 Delorto. This is the B model. This is on a Ducati 900 SS bevel. Um, I've completely rebuilt the carbs. There's some videos on my channel about that. Uh, the last thing I, the one thing I didn't do was adjust the accelerator pumps. I just restored them to what they were from the previous setting. And uh, then I went out and did a whole lot of um, AFR testing to uh, see how the bike's running and uh, decided I should actually adjust these because it was unknown what they were and I couldn't be sure the behavior on full throttle was, you know, the expected behavior or not. So first step is to do the last thing that was never done, which was adjust the acceler accelerator pump. Okay, so now... I then had to try and figure out the best way to do that. First you have to find out uh, what do you adjust it to. And uh, if you have the repair manual for the 900 SS, page 146, accelerator pump. Da -da -da -da. Pump delivery can be checked, fixing the carburetor to a special support, connected to petrol so that you can measure how much uh, fuel comes out. And what you need is open and close the throttle completely 20 times, a few seconds in between, check that the volume of fuel collected is 8 cc's plus minus half cc, so 8 cc's for the PHM40. And uh, if not, adjust the uh, pump stop here. Okay, if you have a PHM, <coughs> if you have the a little baby carb, PHM 32, on page 138, you've got over 20 strokes, 20 squirts, 4 cc, so interestingly, half the cc. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Now, I've already done a test of it with uh, the old screw and I'm measuring it in this little cup and I got about five milliliters which is five cc's and so then I replaced the screw with my nice new one I got some fresh ones because you know that's what I'm doing is making everything perfect and uh, I've taken the screw out a bit and we're gonna see what I get and that's what I want to demonstrate here is how I'm going to do this. I asked on the uh, forums about people doing this. Uh, one of the guys did find a, did link to a page where someone had done a YouTube video on a Laverda about doing this on a Laverda. And all you can see in the video is a little cup and a little squirt. You can't see anything else. It's all in the dark. However, what I was trying to figure out is do you take it off? Do you leave it on? What's, the, what's a good setup for doing this? Um, and so what I've decided after trying it with it a bit more plumbed in that it's easiest for me alone and one-handed 
if I hold it like this, hold the cup there like that, I've taken the uh, throttle cable off and the choke off. I left the uh, petrol on, of course. And I just do this and I operate it like this. Operate the uh, slide with my finger. Let's go all the way up, rest, go all the way down, rest, and then repeat 20 times. Now, because it's very easy to lose count whilst doing this, I'm making a mark on a piece of tape each time I do it. And I'm going to do that now, after doing a couple of squirts, just because uh, I haven't uh, touched it since yesterday, just to get it going. Fuel's on. And I'm going to do this, wind forward, or maybe I'll speed up this section, but uh, I'll try and show the squirt, I'll try and show what I'm doing, then we'll see what the result is. Okay? So, first a couple of squirts. Let's just uh, squirt into the cup. See that squirt? I got my finger on the slide. Dropping it down, finger in again, another squirt, like that, and down again. There we go, a couple of squirts. Put that in my container there. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. As I say, if this is boring, just wind forwards or maybe I'll speed it up. I'll probably speed it up. Speeding up is easy. I'm not editing these videos much, but I'll, I'll speed up. I don't want to accidentally lose this part way through, so let me just find the best, most secure way. I think about like that's good. All right, take the uh, thing off the pen, and here we go. One, four, and then down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squirt. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. And one more. There we go. That's it. Cap back on. Spill it. Okay, put the carb away. Oh, we're mighty close. That looks like eight or just under. Just a tick under eight. And considering how much ended up squirting out and around, this might be the right amount. So what I'm going to do to check this more accurately is suck it into this pipette here. And I'm looking for, if I can keep it out of my mouth, I'm looking for it to go up to here. I'm just going to do that carefully. If I end up with it in my mouth, I'm turning it off. Okay. Oh, perfect. There we go. The two is the eight cc's. So yes, just a touch over um, eight cc's. How good is that? Bingo. Just what we wanted. Okay. Skull. <laughs> I'm 
putting it in the gas tank. So I'm just going to try an acceleration here.